Bruce Poontip is the founder and CEO of Gap Adventures, the largest adventure travel company in Canada. Gap offers more than 1,000 safaris and expeditions to over 100 countries on all seven continents. Bruce was only 22 when he started the company. I did a, a backpacking trip myself in Asia in 1990, and it was really the inspiration for the company. I mean, I, I was um, staying with, in local communities and local families, and at the time I remember seeing you know, huge coach tours and huge coach companies in air-conditioned coaches staying in like Hilton hotels and thinking, you know, the, the people aren't really seeing the country. Um, and that's the name of the company, Gap Adventures. Gap is the gap between the backpacker and the mainstream tourist. Bruce's family came to Canada from Trinidad in 1970 and settled in Calgary. I think that it was always um, a, a tough, it was a tough transition for them. Outside of just climate and outside of cultural change, there was um, always the financial issue. Bruce's enterprising spirit emerged at a very young age. He was already a businessman by the time he was 12. Well, there's, I mean, there was no, there's no question I started with businesses um, early. I mean, one of the things I think that I laugh about a lot is people say, you know, I started Gap Adventures so young, and people think that, you know, it was my first business, but I always think of Gap Adventures as my fourth business. I had three businesses before I was 16. When I was 12 years old was um, Paper Roots. And in the old days where um, every city had kind of a morning and an evening paper, I applied for two paper routes um, on either side of the city where there were different districts. So I had two morning routes and two evening routes. And I contracted them out to kids who were under 12 who couldn't, because you, you have to be a minimum age of 12 to get a paper route. At 13, Bruce was raising prize-winning rabbits in his parents' backyard and selling stud services with his prized animals. At 14, he joined Junior Achievement's business program. He sourced temperature-sensitive fabric to create colorful bookmarks and sold 10,000 in his first year. And then I actually, you know, um, tried, I worked, I got a job when I was 16 at Denny's and got fired after two weeks. And then I went to McDonald's at 16 and got fired during the training program. So I was, I always thought of myself as unemployable, un unemployable. Bruce realized the one thing he was good at was doing his own thing. So at 22, despite his parents' concerns, he moved to Toronto and started Gap Adventures. I started it on credit cards and I couldn't get loans from banks, but I was so passionate and determined to get it started. I mean, I always felt like it was the right thing to do and I always felt it was, you know, this is why I was put, you know, on the earth. I mean, I really felt committed to the idea. In 2002, Gap doubled in size by making its first acquisition of Canada's largest flight consolidator, Global Connections. Unlike many other tribes in Africa, the Maasai have continued to practice their ancient rituals and ceremonies, living much the way their ancestors did centuries ago. In 2003, the Great Adventure TV series was launched, a TV program that brings the small group adventure travel experience to life. And in 2004, Bruce purchased the MS Explorer, a polar expedition ship. Today, Gap has nearly 500 employees in offices all over the world, and revenue approaching 100 million. A recognized leader in sustainable tourism, Gap tours have minimal impact on the environment, and local people and cultures are respected. One of the things I'm most proudest of is our commitment to sustainable tourism and the development of our own foundation, the Planetara Foundation, which is a foundation that is geared towards giving back to the communities which we take from. Planetara supports numerous community projects all over the world. In the South African community of Shalati, Planetara is helping the local community to build a preschool. In Peru, the foundation is helping women develop a weaving project. And in Antarctica, the Save the Albatross campaign was launched in response to the fact that many albatross species are headed towards extinction. GAP's list of awards is impressive. For the past two years, GAP has been recognized as one of Canada's 50 best managed companies and Canada's top 100 employers. In 2002 and 2006, 
Bruce received the Canadian Entrepreneur of the Year Award. He was listed in the top 40 under 40 and was named one of the top 10 Canadian entrepreneurs in the past 25 years by Profit Magazine. Bruce's company is pretty unique in that it has continued to grow and grow at an incredible rate for a number of years. So I, I, I th at one point he was on the Profit 100 list about six years in a row or something, which is just amazing and almost no companies have ever uh, done that. And that's one of the reasons back that, that, that about uh, five or so years ago when Profit celebrated its 20th anniversary, we did a list of uh, 10 entrepreneurs that we thought really reflected uh, the success and accomplishments and achievements of Canadian entrepreneurs. And we put Bruce on that list because he's young, he's committed to what he's doing. Bruce is one of the most charismatic entrepreneurial figures in Canada today. He just represents everything that we think is good and exciting and positive about entrepreneurship in Canada.